What's going on, everybody? It's Q from Retro Q Game, and it's some very interesting news coming out of the PC world right now that might affect you console gamers going forward. Now, it's a big might. I do want to stress again, before we get anywhere into this video, it's a very big might, it's a lot of potential, and it's me speculating on some stuff because of some real-world hardware and some stuff I've theorized and prophesized in the past. So, let's get into it. You might remember a little while ago, I kind of wanted to try guess or predict what the next generation of console hardware would be like. Basically, what I suspected would, it would be something similar to the Xbox One X GPU and possibly a very low-end Ryzen CPU, be it first gen or second gen, in whatever comes out next. Of course, the, the GPU in the Xbox One X is very similar to an RX 580 and I also kind of suggest suggested that based on the time of when they come out, it could potentially be uh, the equivalent of an RX 680. But the big upgrade that we'd see in all the consoles, be it the PS5 or the Xbox 2 or whatever they're going to call it, is the, the CPU would be massively upgraded and the GPU would be something similar to what would be in the Xbox One X. Now, it turns out that AMD have actually come out and made some new hardware for the Chinese market at the moment. Now, for those of you not familiar with it, AMD actually make all the hardware hardware in the Xbox One X and, and hell in all the Xbox One family for that matter as well as all the PlayStation 4 family and when it comes to the current consoles the biggest thing number one two three four five six seven and eight on that list with a bullet of why the consoles are so hamstrung and so held back is the CPU. Now you might be wondering why I put eight points on there and only listed the CPU. Well, it's because it's an absolute piece of shit, unusable, completely unsuitable for games, eight core Jaguar CPU. So you've got one point for each core. But when you look at the GPU, it's still a decent style thing for the consoles, at least when it comes to the Xbox One X. The RX 580 is basically laughable on PC, but it's relatively useful in the console space because of its price and performance. And of course, AMD. So what am I talking about anyway? Well, AMD, like I said, have made some new hardware for the Chinese market. It's essentially a system on a chip, which is, for lack of a better word, think of what's in the consoles now or what's in the Switch, basically. Basically. Granted, the Switch version is NVIDIA, but just think of something similar like that. It's essentially one little chip, and it has the CPU and GPU in it as it is. Very similar to what you'd have along the lines of the current AMD stuff, with the Ryzen stuff. It's all APU-based. But the big thing about this is, in some ways, it's very similar to what I predicted. This new system on a chip, which, by the way, is intended specifically for the Chinese market, as I've mentioned already, and is designed for a console exclusively for the Chinese market from a Chinese manufacturer. Of course, the whole game console has only been available in China very recently, is now opening up the market. But let's take a look at it real quick about what's actually in here and what could potentially be changed and what it means, possibly, for the future of games consoles. So straight off the bat, we have a Ryzen quad-core CPU, that's four physical cores and eight threads, and eight gigabytes of GDDR5. And like I said, the GPU on that chip is actually equivalent or even clocked possibly a little bit higher based on the numbers of an RX 580. So think of it as very slightly faster, GPU-wise at least, than an Xbox One X. From a CPU point of view, it's leagues and light years ahead of an Xbox One X. There's no comparison. The two consoles or the two pieces of hardware should not be even put in the same sentence. There's that much of a difference between them. But it's a very, very interesting prospect. When you look at the likes of this hardware or something very similar to it, because again, Microsoft or Sony could contract it out and license it and whatnot and throw in a little bit of refinements and upgrades and all that. But realistically, what's in this as it is now, there's only maybe possibly one thing I could ever improve on this as a suggestion for the console market. The quad-core Ryzen CPU is fantastic when you compare it to the Jaguar piece of shit that's in there. You would see infinite amount of gains over what's already in there. Because even the low-end Ryzen stuff on PC is actually current-gen proper hardware. Not like the thing in the Xbox and PlayStation families, which was several years out of date and extremely even further out of date when you look at it that way. The GPU, as I predicted, is a cost-effective solution. It's a relatively decent graphics card when it comes to console space, even if anyone using a 580 on a PC gets laughed at. But with it being slightly better than a 580, 
based on the numbers, it could give them that extra little buffer or potentially even get them closer to that 4k goal that they're chasing. But the big thing, like I said, that I would improve over all of this would be the amount of video memory in there. Currently, if you look at the base PlayStation 4 or base Xbox One, those units both have 8 gigabytes of RAM in them. The Xbox One has 8 gigs of DDR3, whereas the PS4 has 8 gigs of GDDR5, which is obviously considerably better for GPU usage. The big difference there though is that the Xbox One actually only has 5 gigabytes of that available because 3 gigs of it is used for system memory. The PlayStation 4 on the other hand uses 3.5 gigabytes of its memory for system use, leaving only 4.5 gigabytes available for games. It's the same on the PlayStation 4 Pro, but when it comes to the Xbox One X, that actually has 12 gigabytes of video memory. Again, 3 gigabytes of it available to the system and 9 gigabytes available for games. So I would like to see an increase in the video memory on this. Granted, 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 is still relatively useful. Hell, my 1080 has 8 gigs of GDDR5X. But because it has the negative affliction of, unfortunately, being an AMD GPU, which is basically automatically assigning it to fifth place next to four NVIDIA cards, I really think they should aim for at least 12 gigs minimum, possibly even 16 gigs, to get the maximum amount of benefit out of it, especially if they're pushing towards that extra huge 4K. You're going to need as much memory as possible in there to try get yourself that huge frame buffer for all those pixels. But anyway, based on all the hardware we've seen in this, even without my extra little revision of adding in more GDDR5, if the Xbox 2 or the PlayStation 5 launched with this hardware, you would see massive gains over what you already have. You would see something that outperforms the Xbox One X in every single way. Obviously, it has a slightly better GPU than the Xbox One X, which gives it the benefits in all types of graphical performance. But because of the insane amount of difference in power and use of the CPU, you would see a lot I mean a lot coming on that front, especially when it comes to frame rate calculations or specifically physics and anything else that ties the frame rate as well. So you would see a significant amount of games with improved frame rates. I'm not saying everything is going to look exceptionally gorgeous as well as run at 60 frames per second, but you'd get closer than you are now. So it's very curious to see if something like this will happen. As I mentioned, this is only for the Chinese market, but the, the technology and the base work is there. Microsoft or Sony could come out and license this, design a custom version of it with AMD. Who knows what the future is going to hold? Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what you think about this new hardware. Do you think it's a viable option or do you think it's something we may possibly see in the next generation of consoles? Or even what would you predict in the next generation of consoles? Something similar to what we have now GPU wise and only maybe improved massively in the CPU department or something else completely crazy and different? Let me know all that good stuff in the comments section below. Make sure to hit the appropriate button to let me know how I did on the video and then even hit that little subscribe button and turn on the notification bell just so you can try and get all the notifications. Hell, it's current year, 2018 being what it is, and YouTube actually sending you, it was a whole other story. But hey, at least you can say you tried, am I right? Anyway, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the rest of the videos in my channel.